Hello and welcome to the next video in the RD Pilot on Cheap Flight Controller series. So we have spent quite a bit of time over the last couple of weeks actually putting a flight controller in here. And there it is all hidden away. And uh, for those of you that have been following along, this will look very familiar to you. Um, the good news is it flies. So what I wanted to do was just to kind of document what I've done, how it's all worked. Uh, there's a couple of extra things that we need to do after this, but I just wanted to kind of just uh, show you how it flies. Now, I haven't done anything else to the model apart from everything that you've seen in the videos. So it was buttoned up and then uh, taken out to the field and flown. So let me just play that footage while I kind of talk about everything. Now, in the Ardu plane wiki there is a recommended process for maidening a plane and figuring everything out but the way I tend to do it is I tend to take off in manual mode uh, or if I'm particularly adventurous start in fly by wire array and launch the craft into the air and just see if it's going to work okay um, once I'm happy that it's performing fine uh, you'll tend to find that the first flights with these smaller models on RD pilot uh, or what I'm finding anyway is that the controls are a little bit twitchy the tune isn't fantastic so there needs to be a little bit of work on the tune and we'll potentially do that in a future video um, but once I'm happy that it's flying around okay then I'll pop it into loiter so it can do a nice bit of loitering and then finally I'd try a return for home now in this initial flight I'm just going to go and uh, actually launch in fly by wire array and fly around for most of that then i'm going to pop it into loiter because the gps seems to be handling itself okay and the magnetometer seems to be working fine i didn't recalibrate it at the field probably should have uh, but uh, it seemed to not care about that and the loiter worked fine okay there are a couple of things that now we know that this thing works and it flies and the on-screen display works and all of that goodness that our do pilot fabness is available on this cheap and cheerful flight controller then there's other things that we need to do as well after the initial flights we probably need to run uh, an auto tune but in RD Pilot 3.9, there's a setting called Servo Auto Trim that I'd probably recommend turning on, particularly for small foamies like this, uh, where the center of gravity might not be absolutely like, the same every time, and there might be a bit of flex in the wing as you're flying at speed. Turning that on, hopefully, is going to just take care of the servo trim that you need to fly okay. But the big thing that this plane is going to need, and I think it's probably going to require a video on its own, is some kind of auto tune now again the auto tune information is fab in the wiki so i'll put a link to both this and the recommended maiden flight process in the description below this video so you can go and have a look in advance of me covering it but the very short version is what you're going to have to do is set up auto tune as a mode go and fly and recommend getting a bit of height and then stick it into the auto tune mode and rapidly input pitch and roll commands uh, bang the sticks around you don't have to wait for the craft to uh, respond particularly aggressively uh, you're just trying to teach the flight controller what the reaction is now what's happening is Ardu plane is comparing and tuning the PID settings for each of the axes as you're doing that and every 10 seconds it's going to save it now in the documentation it talks about just doing that for about 20 times in each direction I'd recommend doing it a lot more than that try and do it 30 or 40 try and keep track of it in your head and then once that is done once you come out of auto tune it'll store those new PID settings and I think at the moment the PIDs uh, for something like this particular model are a million miles away from where they should be but that's probably not a surprise the stuff that Ardu pilot tends to get put on is usually twice the size of this um, and is an awful lot stiffer as well so join me in another video where we'll go through those things but the fantastic news is it flies and it flies well and it does the basics things like the loitering and things like the return to home seem okay uh, but I would always recommend whenever you go to the field with Ardu pilot I would recalibrate your compass for wherever you are in the radio. Again, I put a link in the description and you kind of twist it all around until it beeps, which is why having the beep is handy. But join me in the next video. We're going to go into a little bit more detail about how to get it dialed in and get it set up so that you have the best possible flying experience with it. So I shall see you in that next video and thank you for sticking with it so far. 
it flies. Thanks for watching the video and watching right to the very end. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you like the video and like what I'm doing here, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon too. If you really like what I'm doing, you can go the extra mile and become one of my Patreons for access to me directly for support and also giveaways and regular updates too. If you're looking for particular content, then check out the playlist. I organize all of my videos into playlists. So if you're looking for a particular topic, you can find everything here. If it's called Introduction To, it's designed to start very simply and build on that simple introduction to teach you all about it. If it's called For Beginners, then that is really aimed at people who are brand new to that part of the hobby. You can also search on YouTube for anything that you're interested in using the search function at the top. So iNav Painless 360 will find all of my videos and even the playlists around iNav. So thanks again for watching and happy flying.